The clatter of the blinds blowing in the wind seeped into my ears. It took me a few minutes, but I finally realized where I was and what was happening. I was in my bedroom on the bottom bunk of my bed. Just as my brain was starting to pump, I heard a rustling above me. Then just before my eyes, there was a tiny little foot stepping down the ladder. It's Christmas, Courtney, it's Christmas, my little brother Christopher squeaked. I turned to look at the clock that was quietly setting on my nightstand. Oh man, I moaned, it's only 6, o- 6 a.m. Mom said we can't wake them up until 7 a.m. at the earliest. Ah, uh, fine, let's just sit and wait. I can't go back to sleep now, he groaned. About 45 minutes later, my, bro- my brother and I couldn't stand it anymore. We burst into our parents' room and pleaded, please, can we go downstairs? Why not? Go ahead, my dad lazily moaned. We galloped downstairs like a pair of gazelles and sped right into the living room. There were so many presents in such a small place. It seemed as though I was entering Noah's Ark, full of many different sized shapes. A small giggle of happiness broke the silence of the house. Finally, my parents came lollygagging down the stairs like a pair of sloths. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a a lot of presents, my mom yawned. Although on the outside my parents looked very tired, on the inside you could see the amazement in their eyes. A few minutes after that, two of my uncles came prancing down like monkeys, curious but cautious. Then, like any boy would do, they rubbed their hands together in delight. Soon after this, my grandparents came hopping down like a pair of rabbits, awaiting surprises to light up their faces. This Christmas was truly breathtaking. The whole family had an extraordinary time, including my dog, Travis. It was truly a zoo of parents and Noah's Ark. Thank you.